All right, so today we have a Terminator Salvation Gun. Um, I know in a previous video I've told you where this is a good indication of a bad harness. So we're going to replace this harness with a brand new harness. So we're gonna pull out the old harness and install a new one. So let's start taking this bad boy apart. All right, we got it open. If you ever wonder what was inside of a Terminator Salvation Gun, there you go. I don't know if it's impressive or not. <laughs> anyway, so, all right, let's go ahead and remove this bad boy. It just really just sort of pops right out. Um, you're going to have to follow this and probably unplug this cable from that little board if it doesn't unplug by itself. And then, of course, you're going to have to, you know, unzip tie all these little wires right here just to get that harness out. And then do it all over again with installing the, the wire harness. So let's remove the old one so we can get it out of there to get the new one in. Ah, there. No harness. No, just about almost naked. Harness on the floor. All right, so let's start installing the new one. Let's get this done. All right, so we got the new harness in. So there is a certain way to kind of like lay this part right here. Um, this does spin so you can lock it down, make it tighter, make it looser, whatever it is you want. There is like a, a nice even um spot where you can kind of do it and fit it in there and uh, it will fit quite nicely if not just open it up a little bit and get it in there but it should fit in there perfectly flat just like that everything has a spot you know even this knot right here it perfectly lays in something um so once you do that you're gonna have all this extra cables in here and then you're gonna have to try and stretch these to go to right where they're supposed to go one to that way, one to this way, but then you're wondering, you know, you have all this extra cable here, what are you gonna do with it? I mean, that's a lot of cable to go into this gun. Well, you're gonna have to kind of like pull it. So what you do, it's like on this side right here, you just sort of like pull the cable, straighten, it, straighten the, the harness out as, as straight as possible as you can. So when you pull on this, on the other end, you can actually, See if I can show you. You can actually pull it in. Yeah. And that way, take up the slack a little bit. You know, you can even kind of like push it in, stuff like that. All right. Um, if you push too much in, it's okay because you can pull more out. But yeah, it, once you do that, you should be able to start fitting things in quite nicely. Sorry about that radio. I always fight with this part here. I don't know why. All right. Okay, so now that I have a perfect amount there, I might need to pull a little bit more. Actually, maybe not. So now I have enough to go towards here. Well, maybe I should pull it a little bit more. Give me a little bit more slack. So. I have enough to go to this little board over here and I have enough to go to all my other little switches that I have on this side over here. So um, if you need a little bit more, you just kind of like pull it, give yourself a little extra slack. So that way this little cable now can reach to that part of it. You're going to have to work it, but you'll get it. So let me go ahead and put this together and then uh, I'll show you exactly what I did. Okay, harness is in. So the best thing to do is just kind of get in there and just start tucking things in. There's little spots for all the wires and cables to go through. Just tuck them in there, get them in there real good, plug them in, tuck it in as good as possible. Um, I know what you're looking at. You're looking at this little plug right here and this little plug right here. That is the clacker. I don't use that. I actually disconnect those. Um, I'll explain why. In the arcade atmosphere, this clacker is used so much that it tends to wear itself out. And then I have um, brass shavings all inside here. It ruins the gun. It ruins the gun. Um, I don't have time to continuously keep opening the guns to clean this out. So I just leave it disconnected. And I don't have to worry about my gun failing due to all the... Um, 
metal shavings that all the filings or whatever it is the brass filings that are in there um it just it just wears out and it, it ruins everything so i don't even use it i don't even use it if you're using these guns for home purposes you have a terminator salvation hey that's fine uh your your gun is gonna stay good even with the clacker working um because it's not getting the play like it would in an arcade atmosphere this thing is getting played with all day long all night long your home arcade probably not so yeah if you are doing this for your arcade just go ahead and remove it or if you like having it in there then, then that's fine uh i haven't had any complaints it's been like this for years so um my guns have lost lasted a lot longer anyway so now all we gotta do is just put the rest of the stuff in close her up slap it back in the game let's finish that up all right guns together guns there i just kind of wanted to show you something real quick so this is the piece that was broken so i want to show you exactly what it looks like on the inside all right so this is exactly what it looks like so here's where it is this part right here is supposed to be attached to here but because it broke it really put a lot of strain on this cable right here so if we keep if we keep you know pulling forward you know there's more of the cable a uh, wire is exposed um these wires probably got damaged somehow probably got cut somehow or just broken on the inside of the actual sheathing of the wire you know but this is what happens you know when this part starts to um really get messed up that that's why it looks just like this this is supposed to be all the way down Let's see if i can do this one again oh, it's starting to bunch up anyway so this is supposed to attach to here but it's no longer attached it's broken and that's because um the way they lay the guns inside the holsters on the game um, if they lay the guns correctly the the tether will you know lay naturally but sometimes they'll put the the gun the wrong way and it will sort of like put a kink on it and that's what damages that that metal right there and eventually will break over time and then the harness goes bad all right well anyways let's go slap this on the game and get the game done all right now that you got it installed um it's gonna ask you a bunch of questions it's gonna ask it's gonna ask you you know which is the left gun which is the right gun you gotta, you gotta just do what it says and then if you want you can either play the game or just go into the test menu and just start hitting the buttons grenade works trigger works reload works that's all you need to do you can test the other one the same way everything is working or you can test the game and just play it either way your gun's working last thing to do fix your marquee make sure it's lit up and that's it thanks for watching